Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 14th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Foundation. Taking this book down from our shelf, we turn to the page which contains the 12 steps. Carefully reading the first five proposals, we ask if we have omitted anything, for we are building an arch through which we will walk free at last. Is our work solid so far? Are the stones properly in place? Have we skimped on the cement put into the foundation? Have we tried to make mortar without sand? Alcoholics Anonymous, page 75. Thought to consider. This day I choose to spend in perfect peace. Acronyms. Grace. Gently releasing all conscious expectations. Just for today. Courtesy, kindness, justice, and love. Step 10. Continued to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. We can try to stop making unreasonable demands upon those we love. We can show kindness where we had shown none. With those we dislike, we can begin to practice justice and courtesy, perhaps going out of our way to understand and help them. Whenever we fail any of these people, we can promptly admit it to ourselves always and to them also when the admission would be helpful. Courtesy, kindness, justice, and love are the keynotes by which we may come into harmony with practically anybody. When in doubt, we can always pause saying, not my will, but thine be done. And we can often ask ourselves, am I doing to others as I would have them do to me today? 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 93. Daily Reflections. A Program for Living. When we retire at night, we constructively review our day. On awakening, let us think about the 24 hours ahead. Before we begin, we ask God to direct our thinking, especially that it be divorced from self-pity, dishonest, and self-seeking motives. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 86. I lacked serenity. With more to do than seemed possible, I fell further behind, no matter how hard I tried. Worries about things not done yesterday and fear of tomorrow's deadlines denied me the calm I needed to be effective each day. Before taking steps 10 and 11, I began to read passages like the one cited above. I tried to focus on God's will, not my problems, and to trust that he would manage my day. It worked. Slowly, but it worked. As Bill sees it. Aspects of Spirituality Among AAs, there is still a vast amount of mix-up respecting what is material and what is spiritual. I prefer to believe that it is all a matter of motive. If we use our worldly possessions too selfishly, then we are materialists. But if we share these possessions and helpfulness to others, then the material aids the spiritual. The idea keeps persisting that the instincts are primarily bad and are the roadblocks before which all spirituality falters. I believe that the difference between good and evil is not the difference between spiritual and instinctual man. It is the difference between proper and improper use of the instinctual. Recognition and right channeling of the instinctual are the essence of achieving wholeness. Letter 1958, Letter 1954. Big Book Quote Step 11 suggests prayer and meditation. We shouldn't be shy on this matter of prayer. Better Man Than We are using it constantly. Alcoholics Anonymous, 4th edition, Into Action, page 85. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. How big a part of my life is AA? Is it just one of my activities and a small one at that? Do I only go to AA meetings now and then and sometimes never go at all? Do I think of AA only occasionally? Am I reticent about mentioning the subject of AA to people who might need help? Or does AA fill a large part of my life? Is it the foundation of my whole life? Where would I be without AA? Does everything I have and do depend on my AA foundation? Is AA the foundation on which I build my life? 
meditation for the day. Lay upon God your failures and mistakes and shortcomings. Do not dwell upon your failures, upon the fact that in the past you have been nearer a beast than an angel. You have a mediator between you and God, your growing faith, which can lift you up from the mire and point you toward the heavens. You can still be reconciled with the Spirit of God. You can still regain your harmony with the divine principle of the universe. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may not let the beast in me hold me back from my spiritual destiny. I pray that I may rise and walk upright. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I am Cindy, and I am an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.